Multiculturalness, that's A OK. Yeah. Diversity, that's A OK. <laughs> you know what's not A OK? It's white supremacist. This is you know, the one sign I'll give white supremacists. It's that sign. <laughs> How about that? Spencer. Oh, that's on a Christian podcast, too. You it's know Friday, what? It's Friday, though. Yo, hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cartier, also known as the chosen one. <laughs> I'm Herbie Husker. You're what? Herbie Husker. I thought you said Herbie Husker. And I was going to say, I'm sorry that you're dealing with that. I guess we won't do this for children only. <laughs> um, No, you know, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Herbie Husker. This is Frank. This is Frank. He's looking good. Look I don't know shirt. why he's wearing flowers because there's snow outside. That's why it's a two hat day, as you can see from me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. His shirt. What does it say? The birds work for the bourgeoisie. Um, People say the birds are, F- some birds are FBI agents. Yeah. I'm wondering if, if ours is. He does have little shiny eyes that glow up, you know, night vision. Right. That's Recording a, everything. Yeah. You know who else records is the KGB. Ever heard of the KGB? Yep. Kremlin Government Bureau. Yeah. So w- what's your take on world politics and Russia and Ukraine? Should uh, the U.S. and NATO get involved I, more than they already are? I take an ostrich um, stance on that. Do you know bystanders are just as bad as... Silence is violence. Silence is violence. I do know that. What do you have to say to that? I'd say may the best... May the best man win? No, I don't want to say that. What's your What's your stance on world politics? I I am I am American, so I'm going to plead the fifth. You're going to American. Imagine if Jesus pled the fifth. Jesus didn't get involved in politics, did he? God did. No. Jesus did. Same person. I know. I know. I know. I don't like the way this is going. Do you want to know why I held up a number one for Herbie Husker? Why? Herbie Husker is the mascot for the University of of Nebraska Lincoln, and um, he's been there for. So, so, so long, you know, one of these yeah. early tenured, uh, yeah. tenured mascots. mascots. And he used to hold up the AOK sign and he held it up for years. And no, don't! <laughs> don't do it anymore. What? You can't do it anymore. He, now he does that. We're number one instead because the white supremacists have overtaken. No, the- F that. We're definitely not for children only now. No, F the white they supremacists. They had to change it. F the white supremacists. They had to change it because F the white them. supremacists said, F them to heck. if you do the AOK sign, you're doing the white supremacists. No, this, you know, this is a Christian podcast. Okay? <laughs> so that's why we said F, F, F. This is, well, that's, yeah, I'm censoring myself. No bleeps needed. This is a, a, a Christian podcast. Yeah. And so a lot of times we walk the line of, you know, other, other people, they, yeah. they talk about. Um, the Atlanta Braves can't do the chop chop. Th- no, they talk about. Mm-hmm. I'm going to not censor myself. Mm-hmm. I'm going to just be the authentic me. But the authentic us, like you might say, oh, you guys are soft. You're always saying, don't say homeless. Say say unhoused. unhoused. Mm-hmm. Don't do this. And it's like, you guys aren't natural. No, our natural selves is to be empathetic towards yes. other people. And, we're, and so we'll we always, love to grow and change. Yeah. We'll always follow the line of, of empathy. And that's, that is our true selves. With that being said, I don't like when people take things over. Yeah. How yeah. D- I know. What what, ha- what happens? You know, when when some some people that hate you know small people start doing this like oh this means I hate small people. True. I would say no, it doesn't. True. Now I thought the AOK wasn't AOK anymore because it was. I don't know. I th- I thought it was like a Native American thing. Oh. I I could be. I don't know where my thoughts. I think everything gets jumbled on. Who's yeah, I don't what. know. But. And I, because I've, I've always said it with the American flag, you know, where you see that one side of a political party has sort oh, of yeah. overtaken the American flag. Oh, that's right. And I'm like, stop it. All like, of a sudden, if you were very um, patriotic. If I have American flags all over my house, I should, it sh- that shouldn't be. People assume that you're a part, a certain party. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and, you, and and I think. Or a supporter. I think there's a problem when we let like, people have like, oh, well, let them have it. Mm-hmm. And you know what's happening with that? Is Russia, Ukraine. Thank you for segueing in. <laughs> How much are we going to let them annex parts of Ukraine? They did it in 2014, and they and then we said, "Well, okay, well now they have it, and let's just not cause problems." Are you saying this for the bird? What are you saying this for the bird? <laughs> just covering my bases for the bourgeoisie, but you know what I mean. There's a certain point where you got to step up and say, "You're listen, Russia. 
No, you can't just annex things. Listen, listen white supremacists. Listen, you white can't, supremacists. You can't take the AOK sign. You know, you can't have any sign. No, true. Oh, you're that's right. your sign? No, it's not. You're right. Kick rocks. You're right. How about that? You know what? You're right. We should we should have like a whole like I don't know maybe a whole pr- uh, pr- campaign or something where where every time you're supporting people of color or people of different yeah. religions and- multiculturalness that's a okay yeah diversity that's a okay <laughs> you know what's not a okay it's white sur- this, you know the one sign I'll give white supremacists it's that <laughs> sign how about that Spencer oh, that's on a Christian podcast too you it's know Friday why? though it's Friday it's a little it's it's nutty Friday it's Friday and. Um, I don't mean to project hate. That's not my thing. No, I don't think you were. Okay. As long as you don't think I was. I do not, I, I I do not have hatred in my heart for any person. Mm -hmm. I have hatred in my heart for hate, if that makes sense. Yeah, of course. And so I can hate ideas. I can hate, not ideas, ideologies. Yeah. I can hate stances that promote hate Mm -hmm. without hating the person who was misguided. Right. Because that person can change. That person is lost and can come back around that idea will never be filled with love Mm-mm. there's no love in, an, in, in, in no. a hateful idea so f you hateful ideas on a crazy friday and with that said let's read a dr <laughs> seuss book <laughs> that said this video is no longer for children no, and um, no, we never had a chance we, we never had a chance we didn't i think the first <laughs> five seconds i was i was cursing someone out yeah um it's dr seuss friday guys Hey, children. Um, what we do on Dr. Seuss Friday is... Read we to adults. <laughs> read to adults. That's the whole point of it, though. True, you, true. You've You're all, right. You've all read Dr. Seuss as a kid. You know, I watched Star Wars as a kid, right? Mm-hmm. Obviously, you know, three of them came out before I was born. Yeah. The next three came out when I was very young. And so it was lasers and beams and, and, and yeah. it was exciting and fun. It was only when I was in high school, I was living down the shore... That I'm like, I want to watch all of these again, mm-hmm. like chronologically. Yeah, it's as if I watch a whole new movie because, okay, like, cause it, I actually understood the plot right. and the connections, and it was so much deeper. Right. And so, with these Doctor Seuss Fridays, we read a very simple Doctor Seuss book mm-hmm. filled with rhymes and made up characters, and then we're like, can we get a little inspiration from that? Yeah. You know, like you can get inspiration from a lot of things. Sometimes a small source. Why did God, why did Jesus love children? You know, it's because they had that innocence. Right. And they had that open-minded You're right. capacity. Perception. Mm-hmm. You know, that, that didn't make them try to turn A-OK's hateful. When a kid does an A-OK, you think there's any hate in his heart? Right, exactly. No, there's not. Same thing with the Dr. Seuss book. So we take a small thing and we try to branch it out to older ideas and with our wise, big brains. Yeah. This book was written in 1966 and we're reading it in 2022. So interesting you know that this is going to travel through the decades and we'll see what we get from it yes so today we are reading come over to my house by dr seuss do you know the florida song come it's wel- i think it's welcome welcome to my house play that music so loud we all I, I might get go. not very dr seuss in, <laughs> into it after it but <clears throat> i'm so excited are you yeah i love i love this is a little bit read. of a longer one isn't it i love when you read yeah it is some houses are bricks and some houses are sticks. Some houses are square and some houses are round. There are all kind of houses around to be found. Some are on stilts high up off the ground. Some houses are wide. Some houses are thin. Some are so thin you can hardly get in. But wherever you go, you will hear someone say, come over to my house, come and play. Come over to my house. The fishing is great. They bite all the time and you don't have to wait. Come over some day and bring plenty of bait. My house has a kite that can whistle and sing. Come over some day and bring plenty of string. My house has so many big pine trees outside. We can slide on my wonderful pine needle slide. That sounds awful. <laughs> the house of my roof has a stork on a nest. What? The, <laughs> the roof of my house has a stork on a nest. The roof of my house is a good place to rest. You can play on my roof, but my house is so tall, it's a long way downstairs to go after the ball. My house is bright pink, and it's happy and gay. Our streets are wet water. We like it that way. Florence. Is that Florence? Venice? Venice. Maybe Venice. Okay. Come up on my porch, I'll give you a treat. Spaghetti we'll eat, and we'll eat what we'll eat. 
We'll eat 20 miles of it. We'll eat a ton. Food at my house is such a wonderful fun. Italy. Shout out Italy. And you sounded Italian. It's such a wonderful. It's such a wonderful fun. <laughs> Come over to my house and sit by the fire. My fire burns trees and it's hotter and higher. That doesn't sound like um, Smokey the Bear would approve. Did Smokey the Bear come after 1966? Maybe. My fire burns trees. Let's get higher and higher. Ugh, California is like all burnt from this book. Our fire is in a stove. It makes beautiful heat. Come over, come over, and warm your cold feet. Come over to my house. I live on a boat. I live in a city of houses that float. Come into my houseboat, have supper with me. I'll give you cold rice and a cup of hot tea. It's like a hair on me. Oh, there is. In your house. I eat with chopsticks and you can learn how. But boy, you are terribly sloppy right now. <laughs> Come over to my house and stay for the night. We have 200 rooms, so I'm sure it's all right. But don't touch the tigers. They're liable to bite. In my house, my bath is a fancy machine with handles and spouts, and it's long and it's green. I just have a tub, but I keep it just as clean. At our house, hot water comes out of the rocks. It's handy for washing ourself and our socks. Come over to our house. You'll like our bath, too, especially if you have laundry to do. Over at my house, you'll eat funny fruit. You'll ride on my llama and toot on my flute. My house has books, and they're all very fine. I'll learn to read yours, and you'll learn to read mine. In a faraway place in a wide, empty land. Far away. In a faraway place in a wide, empty land. My house is a tent in the wind and the sand. At my house, I'll show you a wonderful show. In the night, in the sky, when the northern lights glow. Can we go see the Northern Lights? I just saw a TikTok and they're like, it's... It's amazing. And the Northern Lights is up north, what, Canada? Alaska? Yeah, I think like high Canada. Where you see uh, rainbows in the night yeah. um, shooting like like a laser show. But um, I can't go there because it's probably really cold. I know, but like I just saw a TikTok and like I hadn't seen it in a while like with an actual video. Mm-hmm. It's like, I can't... Let's finish the book. I think our neighbors saw it. My house has an ostrich. Hop on, take a ride. An ostrich is... Oh. That's what I called myself earlier. <laughs> nice. But watch where you're riding. Don't ride him inside. In the back of my house lives a red kangaroo, two koala bears, and an emu or two. Come over and play. We're all waiting for you. My house is quite cold. I need fur to sleep in. My house is quite hot. I just sleep in my skin. <laughs> I sleep in a bed with a big puffy puff. Come over some night and we'll have puff puffs enough. We have puff puffs enough. In my house, I sleep on a mat on the floor. There's a mat here for you, but I hope you don't snore. Japan. Come over to my house and we'll milk a cow. It isn't too hard and it's time you learned how. You can milk goats at my house so it's easy with your pail. So come with your pail. It's easy, you'll find the milk back near the trail. My house has a reindeer. Come on, don't be shy. Step up and start milking. Let's give it a try. Can you milk a reindeer? Can, <laughs> they gave this reindeer an udder, and I, I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> All mammals have udders. Yeah, but you want to milk your dog? Like, <laughs> it has. It, he didn't make. I mean, it has to be reindeer milk. You ever? You never heard of that? Milk and cookies. That's why you give it to Santa. That's even creepier. <laughs> Every house in the world has a ceiling and floor, but the ones you'll like the best have a wide open door. Some houses are rich, full of silver and gold, and some are quite poor, sort of empty and old. Some houses are marble, and some are just tin, but they're all alike when your friend asks you in. There are so many houses you'll meet on your way, and wherever you go, you'll hear someone say, Come over to my house. Come over and play. Thank you! What a book. Long one for Dr. It was a Seuss. long one. I thought it would be longer. <laughs> you were correct. <laughs> um, okay. I like it. I like it. Come over to my house. Do you know in Germany, you don't go into people's houses? Why? It's just not a thing. What do you mean? You don't go over people's houses. Oh, you don't go. Oh, you said you, they don't, you don't go into people's houses. You don't go into people's houses. What does that mean? How do they ever? They're you, very they only private. meet in cafes? No, like you can't. But like, 
You know, like, you'll just have friends over and they'll just walk in. And when you are in a house, it's, like, it's very much, like... Time's ticking. Time's... No, but also, like, you, there's, like, you come into... Oh, in like the front the, door, the there foyer. might be a couple, Yeah, mm-hmm. like the foyer. And it's, like... But... I don't hate it. They're very... Houses, like, are very... We, when I took German class, we were all supposed to go on a, um, a German exchange program, but I didn't get my paper signed. I don't care. But so we learned a lot. I think about that, and I really yeah. don't. No, you don't. Uh, so we learned a lot about the culture, um, and like the two things was uh, we we talked about this on the podcast before, where you don't say I love you to friends. Okay, yeah. You know, you see on girls on Instagram, like, oh my god, I love you. Yeah. You're my best. Very friend. very easily given out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I love you. No, in Germany, if you tell your friend you love them, they'll look at you like this. You can leave at me. That's what I'll say. A little too forward. It's like it. They love. They have the ability to love. They must love so much that they are taken aback when it's used so the same casually. The same reason, you know how, in um, we are like a ga- This is the ne- This is like the negative switch, with the c word, and Australians use it like they'll talk yeah. to like their friend. Yeah. Like what's up? Mm-hmm. It's the c word, and it's like we hear that and we're like, yeah, what? Yeah. Yes, and it, it's like because. They've completely lost any kind of power to the yeah. word. And it's like mm-hmm. just normal. We've sort of lost the word for like love because it's like you love everything. Like, right. oh, I, I love I love tacos. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like the, they're very and they're more, you know, um, precise with their language. Right. And so it's like, but you don't love me. Right. We're friends. Right. We, if we didn't hang out again, we wouldn't really do anything. But I mean, that would be taking... The house come over to my house very, very literally because I'm sure that Germans are very open, um, sociable. Yes. Well, and no. inviting, accepting people. But you were talking about the actual abode. Yeah, I was talking about the abode. But also, also, it's kind of going along with what this is saying. This is saying that culture is so much different. Like, Right. And, and is this book not all about cultures? Right. And, and it's like you all could still be very close to the German person. It's like, oh, in my house, you don't come in. <laughs> and it's yeah. like, in my house, the, right, the door doesn't house... have a door. And it's like, but still come over and play. Yes. It's like, it, it's all of these cultures that make us different. Mm-hmm. Doesn't stop the one thing, which, you know, come over and play. That's, that's a childish idea. Right. But if we just compare it to real world connection. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it's like, no matter what your culture is, it's like, oh, I do things this way. Um, I ha- I went to Colorado and um, was staying at Airbnb, and a Muslim woman opened the door, and I was with a girl at the time, and I'm you know I rented the Airbnb, and so I went to shake her hand, and she said I can't shake her hand. She shook the girl's with his hand, hmm. and it was she's not she doesn't touch a man's man's hand. It, right. it wasn't she wasn't being polite. She wasn't being connected. We still had. She smile. wasn't being polite. It's not that she wasn't being it's polite. Not that, okay. It's not that she didn't. We we didn't connect. Yeah. It's just her culture or it, her it's, belief. It's her culture. Yeah. And, and yeah, so it didn't mean that we couldn't have a human human connection right. because our cultures are different. Right. And um, I think that that's what this book's all about, and it's it's important, right? I'm so excited about this book. Oh. Because it was bought kind of randomly. Yeah. And yet, yesterday was Walk Through Thursday. It was. Um, which was Joshua one nine. And in Joshua 1, 9, it says, God will be with you wherever you go. Mm. And in this book, it says, but wherever you go, you will hear someone say, come over to my house, come over to play. It's repeated twice. It's also repeated at the end of the book. Um, Basically, I would just have to read the same line again. Um, There are so many houses you'll meet on your way. And wherever you go, you'll hear someone say, come over to my house. Wherever you go. That was so exciting because it's it's this it's the Bible verse from yesterday um, that yes wherever you go you can find a friend yeah and also the best friend in the whole existence is god and he's with us wherever we go and, and you he's and yeah find god there and he's he's in everyone right like right. If, we, if we go back to monday's podcast wednesday's podcast I was say, do you have um, another um sh- another channel <laughs> yeah um that's where i do my all my sports betting <laughs> <laughs> my sports betting and I was trying to think of other things that are like optimal. Probably person. like political stuff that because yeah. I, I didn't help you out a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, we talked about what's the key to heaven and what's it all mm-hmm. about. And we said love and that the idea is to love everyone because God, if you believe God's love, you believe 
anywhere there's love, there's God. Right. Every person has it. And so every person of every culture is a child of God, right? And so it's like wherever you go, right? God is there. Like, it, it, and so this person is so much different than me. But you want to play. It means because you want to connect. You have right. love in your heart. You're open-minded. Right. There's God there. No matter how different the cultures are. And yesterday we spoke about the Jews in Ireland and how you explained that it's hard to remember what it would be like to be brought up so insularly yeah. that you are actually afraid when someone believes or acts differently than yourself. Yeah. Well, I mean, we talk about that of like, we uh, we had a long time ago, I believe it was a neighbor's podcast. And um, what we talked about then was, who are your neighbors? And for, Oh, yes. Love your neighbor. And then it's like, my address neighbor yeah and then the, okay. the smaller you keep the world around you right like and what, what i mean by that is like you know you could live right now and it's like these four walls this is all i am perceiving this is all that i'm allowing to right to enter my conscious mm -hmm. it's like okay everyone in here is my neighbors you and frank it's like well then if you you think bigger than that it's like okay well the people around me and when you have a you know circle around this is what are my neighbors everyone outside of that aren't your neighbors and so for the people that are very closed off and it's right. like, oh, don't tell me I don't follow the Bible. I love my neighbors. Right. I don't know who this person is. They must, they must be from the, the next town over. Right. And it's like, but when the idea of your neighbors is, is everyone on earth and you are open-minded and, and you find the connection like in this book where it's like, right. That's, that's what it's saying. It's like these people, it, it is, and it doesn't say countries in particular, but. They're like describing Australia. They're, they're and describing, you know, Japan, Asia, yeah. Mm -hmm. Asia, yeah. Japan, Asia. Japan's in Asia. Japan, you know, the Middle East. Well, I think India's in Asia as well. And I think the tiger, tiger yeah, the yeah. mansion. Mm -hmm. But, um, and it's saying someone will always want to come out and play. And so it's like in that way, that is like you're right. all your neighbors, no matter how differently you live. Right. And yeah, I like it just because um, come come over and play. Like I said, it, it boils down just like the Bible, just like everything in life. Yeah, you know, you ones and mm -hmm. you know, computers go down one to zero. It all comes down to love. And I like how it goes through each of the dividing factors. Like in this book, you see color, like um, wealth, you know, belief, religion. Like obviously, like I said, it's not specific, but just by generally saying well, it's of like of course it was like the tin house or the marble house yeah yeah um, yeah so it's like how much money you have it's like mm -hmm. literally the, the poorest of the poor to the wealthiest of the wealth and right. it's like like i said people probably language barriers like right this book it the one of the reasons it's so long is like it tries to hit every single right point of about all these different types of people and it's like no matter how different you are there's there's something to connect you and it, right. it, it won't be your financial status no it won't be your color, your religion, your um, wealth, and that's financial status. Geography. Your I mean, geography. Yeah. Um, the one thing connected is come out and play, which comes to what it's all about. That's that loving connection between two people. Right. Yeah, because you have to teach children stranger danger, right? Yeah. You say, don't talk to straight. You have to teach. You, you always hear that. You have to teach a child. They don't say you have to teach a child how to be friendly yeah. you have to teach a child to share you know obviously sometimes they don't want to share but you know what i'm saying yeah. they will just very naturally put two babies together two toddlers two middle school kids the they will just want to play with each other yeah you have to teach them no that person isn't safe for these reasons yeah. and you don't want to get and i'm not saying that that's wrong but it just shows you that the natural inclination would be just to disregard anything that seemed Different from yourself. Yeah. And earlier in, in this pod, this podcast, I talked about, you know, why Jesus loved children. And it's like, is this book not the reason? Like, it, it's very easy to see why he's like, be like children. It's like, right. What does that mean? Should I not go to my job? And it's like, no, that's not what he's saying. But these kids, they do have different back. He's not saying be the same. Right. But the, this, this kid that lives in, which what looked like the, uh, what's that, that huge... <laughs> Um, palace in the Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. Literally lives in Taj Mahal, and then the tin can. It's like, but that's not what they care about. It's right. like they're talking about their differences. They're they're open. and they're even finding fun in it. Like, yeah. 
oh, you could milk a reindeer. Yeah, no. You and could go like, fishing. You like, could fly a kite. Oh, th- th- this is my pool. It's like, this is my bath. And they were bathing in the lake. And it's yeah. like, but they didn't care. And that's what Jesus loved about children. It's, it's all of the material earthly things were there. Yeah. They never weren't there. But it's not what they found purpose in. They found purpose in playing right. with each other. And it's what we lose. No, no children. No, Going back to the beginning, you know who I'm coming at. I'm, the white supremacists. Right? You're right. Like, this, you know what? They should be forced to memorize They should be forced to memorize read, this like, 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 <laughs> and, and that's why I say I don't have hatred in my heart for any type of person. I have hatred in my heart for beliefs. Those children were at one time the children of this book, right? That's like, right. And and it, it was when this earthly world corrupted them. Yes. And skewed their beliefs. And then they grew up and said, I don't want to go to your house. Right. I, I, I We are not the same. You eat different food. You, you eat, eat different You eat food. with sticks. You oh, eat, look at you. You eat weird fruit. Yeah. yeah. You, mm-hmm. bathe, you bathe in a lake. Yeah. You're, 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 I, I am the better person than you are. Right. And, and it's like, they completely lost what, like, and that's this, that's the reason we read these su- super simple books because like, you think they're super simple. You can do a doctoral thesis and read encyclopedias on right on what why people are complicating uh, it. Yeah, on, on complicating issues. But it's like this simple book should be why re- make it sh- hard? Should, should like this? This what is does, what does Michael Scott say? K- kiss K I S S. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> it's like this book. If you read it as a self help book as an adult and, yeah. and didn't and didn't see it as dr seuss for, for my yeah. children mm-hmm. it's like literally the, the key to life right here is like this is you want to be a good person read dr seuss yeah and be like well hold on yeah even Maybe the I have um, my priorities on backwards even the bathtub um segment that's the, the one bathtub had so many accoutrements yeah. and then he said well i just have a regular tub but it cl- it keeps me just as clean yeah you know yeah a little economic it's shade like, it's there like this, <laughs> yeah no yeah but it, it's about what really matters and um, I think more people should live like this, subscribe to this. Yeah. Still just come over to my house to play. Right. Why can't white supremacists just stop and just say, hey, why don't we all just play? Yeah, because it's harder to keep the world out. It's harder to yeah. keep your head down and to keep yourself blocked and not you want your, to acknowledge that. And you're doing yourself such a disservice. You are. You're making your, your world so why, small. Right. It's like. When I'm uh, oh right now like my world's in this four walls it's like well that's awful you know I mean yeah. like it's nice to have have the, have this but then it's like you don't want to go you don't want to expand your horizons and if you would just turn the tables always whenever you're dealing in any sort of conflict or or interaction it, they would defend themselves if someone said it's weird the way you live yeah. the way you dress the way you eat you know they would say but but it's not but it's not but it's not but someone could say it because. It could be extremely different yeah. than the way, you know, um, the Inuits are living. But it's it's it can be, um, you know, together. Yeah. So if they would just accept, okay, I this is how I live and this is the way I like to live. And that's the way you live and that's the way you like to live. But there's nothing wrong, there's wrong with either one of us. And, then, and that's what I like about this book right here. It's it, br- it, it brings a lot of attention to the differences. And they're all aware of the differences. They're talking about it. Yeah. Oh, that's what you do? This is what I do. Right. Oh, that's what you do? It's this like a potluck, what, a dinner. You know, everybody like, brings something different. It's an acceptance in our differences. Mm-hmm. I think like a big misconception about the perfect world is being like, even the idea of being colorblind. Right. Uh, I, I never subscribe to that. I think that's like cultures. and, and, and Not actually colorblind because i was confused when you first said it no i don't believe in colorblind people <laughs> i was like i'm like just see <laughs> just see the colors it's, it's green bad enough they have it and it's, you're not believing in that green, right no i know what you mean no, now when racially some, when someone okay. says oh i don't even see color right I, I everyone's the same to me it's like everyone's not meant to be the same no it's not like that that you should notice that your board is only filled with one color of yeah, person. yeah that's not progressive isn't i don't see color it's, right i appreciate diver that's what diversity means right. it's like it's not we need the same. We are no. the same. Yeah. It's like, let, let's make a society of all the right. same people. Can you imagine Thanksgiving dinner and all you had was turkey. Yeah. Every single dish was turkey. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, who would want that? You no want. One. But imagine a dinner where they didn't let mashed potatoes in. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Either. I won't. <laughs> no, but that, all jokes aside, yeah. that like it, it's it's meant to be. You you see differences and they find fun in differences. You come to my house and we can run around the halls and there are 50 rooms in your Taj Mahal. 
come to my house and we can milk a cow outside and it's like two different things yeah. it's like you're finding the like the every every culture um wealth class has things that are different and right. enjoyable and we should celebrate our differences right. and be able to see that that's all just earthly right. stuff and the one thing that no one of these differences can change is the connections we have right the love we can have for each right. other the um that 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 transcends all of that right earthly stuff that we can find oh that's different that's right. cool but it's like if you boy if you strip all that down they don't like oh let's switch houses for a day it's like no the point is right let's let's just hang out and 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 if you're a christian joshua 1 9 which says god will be with you wherever you go are you now not you but if, if is anyone suggesting that if i go to a strange unusual or you know culture that i disapprove of that god's not there yeah. He's wherever you go. Wherever you go. So if you are putting down a different culture or country or person or religion, you're putting, you're saying God's not. And there. that's what I, I mean, that's what I said earlier. And it's like when you say we're all God's children, and mm-hmm. when Jesus says, "Where am I? I'm in, I'm in you, I'm in everyone around you." It's right. like, well, so you're looking at a type of person saying, "Well, God's not in Jesus is not in your right. heart." And it's like, well, then you're you're thinking too small of Jesus. But that is our book. That is Doctor Seuss Friday. Now you know who I'm going to send this to. Who? I'm going to send it to Putin. Oh. And I'm going to say, why can't you just say to Ukraine, just, why can't we just play? <laughs> you know, why You're can't right. they just go to You're each right. other's houses and you know play? What? Simple, keep, keep, keep it simple, keep stupid. It, hey, why don't, why don't you and Ukraine just kiss? Keep it, <laughs> keep it simple, stupid. All right, guys, that is Dr. Seuss Friday. We'll be back. Hopefully everyone survives this winter storm, the old nor'easter. Next Wednesday, we'll see you. Um, the, 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 the soccer won last night. USA won big games for football. Go Bengals. Like the Bengal Tiger. Go Bengals. That's right. Joe. We'll be back. See ya. Peace.